We have one of the largest tax practices among global law firms. Lawyers in more than 20 offices in 12 countries from Washington to London to New York to Paris. And we have a global footprint because we are where our clients are. We have tax transaction lawyers, tax planning lawyers, tax litigators, because tax touches everything and everybody. And tax problems don't go away by themselves. The tax world is very complex and even uh, is more complex today than it was like a decade ago. Um, we're dealing with new international tax standards that are being adopted by the US, by the European Union, and they are not aligned. And that makes it very, very difficult for clients to do the right thing. Clients want to do the right thing, but it's not easy to do the right thing. Since the financial crisis, there's been a push towards you know, kind of global harmonization of, of taxes to close down you know, perceived loopholes or deficiencies in the tax system. And that is, of course, extremely challenging when you're you know, advising multinational clients because they can no longer just look at the jurisdiction in which they operate. They have to look at you know, how their business interacts with this new global framework of how tax laws apply and how you know, they're interpreted. It used to be that we were called by clients to help them reduce their taxes. Now the question that's being presented to our clients is, how do we avoid double tax? How do we avoid triple tax or quadruple tax? Because the way governments are taxing is both inconsistent and broader. Companies used to be taxed based on where they operated and where their people were. The movement has been beyond to impose not only a global minimum tax, but some kind of a formulaic tax, or a tax based on the location of where the customers are located, market sourcing. So clients are finding them taxed multiple times, and controversies ensue. Today's tax disputes mean that you cannot run them in a vacuum. It's Again, it's not only about tax. You will need to incorporate into the advice, into the support, corporate law intellectual property law, evidence, could be privilege, could be a number of issues that you need to bring into the picture in order to create a very strong baseline on which you can actually defend and run the dispute. It's critical that you have this ability to use the resources in the firm. Our tax practice is truly interdisciplinary. We work with all of our practices. We work with our M&A, our bankruptcy, our financial markets, our real estate, our energy, all of our transactional teams on every type of transaction, fund formation, financing transaction, distress transaction. We work with our litigation practices on litigation settlements. We work very closely with our IP practice, not just on their deals and on their licensing transactions, but also on post-integration planning. Big company buys other big company. They've got subsidiaries in 100 places. How do they tear up what's in there, understand what's in there, and put it in the right place, both for IP planning and for tax planning? That's why a cross-disciplinary team, that's why a tax team that has familiarity with the industry, and that's why a group of people who work together seamlessly and within a culture that promotes working together can produce results that can't be replicated.